I always say that if you get someone to switch up their main uh, uh, to their secondary, like the, the, that they're not that good, with, that that's uh, that's pretty much a tell that you probably won this set. You're already in their head. Anyway, I'm starting this match right now. Sleek Media will be playing more of a defensive style, trying to get uh, try, you know, just kind of trying to get what little whatever, whatever little damage he can with uh, Mega Man's hits. While staying kind of safe. I really don't like uh, Leak Shield too much. I feel like you don't have to respect it as much as people do. But uh, we'll see that. Look at that ball. She just hops in there right quick. But he doesn't manage to get his grabs off, off those Leak Shields. He can make good use out of it, at least. Great back out of that. I don't know how he got that off. Cool. Okay. Ball's trying to space him out right now. Sleek Media just dropping into him with the Leaf Shield right there after putting on the Crash Bomb. I like this. I mean, I'm not really a fan of Leaf Shield, as I said earlier, but he's making good uses of it. Oh, wow, and the hard knuckle right there. Catching Boss coming out of shield. Boss uh, read on the roll. Does not get that uh, conversion, though. Crash Bomber again. Uh, a lot of uh, miles out of this Crash Bomber. Kind of forced that situation right there. Either way, this is a very close match. Okay. And Crash Bomber apparently managing to get him out of there. Throwing that uh, uh, Razor Blade straight up. Or Saw Blade. Not enough to finish right there, even with the rage. I'm surprised he didn't go for the uh, down B, to be completely honest. It seemed like that was with the setup. Maybe he'll do it this time? Oh, who paused? Okay, all right. He said he paused. He's all right. And, and, and the good gentleman rule, go ahead and give that stock. Boss didn't even ask for it, but he knew he was dead. I would have done the same thing. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I, all, of all the timing to get that, uh, that pause, though, the man... Right in the middle of a down uh, throw, knowing that next hit was going to be uh, finish. Finito. Right. Again, great usage of the uh, leaf shield. As I said, it seems like it's covering him. Oh, oh. There we go. As PB and J always says, the two dollar slices. Nice, nice forty right there. Oh, going deep for right there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> like, yo, what? <laughs> Y'all like, managed to make it. I didn't expect him to make it back right there. So, I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, or for anyone who doesn't know, uh, also, which I haven't seen him do yet, but this is a little trick. Uh, Mega Man can actually, oh, good roll, uh, read on that roll. Mega Man can actually do his up B first, and then double jump after that, much like uh, Game Watch could do in all of his games. Uh, but, I don't think he uh, got a chance to even do that right there. Nice, clean finish right there for Balls. Clean finish. All right, so they're gonna. Maybe he's gonna take Paul's off right there. Which, uh, uh, I know, like to be real, like, uh, how do you even hit Paul's when you're mashing like that? I mean, Paul's is in the middle of the controller, away from almost every other button you have to hit. I never understood how people hit Paul's in the middle of a mash. I've never unintentionally hit Paul's. But anyway, going into the game two right here on FD. Trying to not give any boss any type of platforms or ways to get uh, to him without getting directly on. Right now, boss staying on top of him, not giving that man any space. Oh! Oh my god. That was close. I was really close. I thought he was actually about to lose the stock right there. Keeped up. My boss definitely staying on top of him right now. What we like to see. Right? And there it is, that, that clean shot right there. That's what I I swear every time I hear it, man, it sounds juicy, yo. That uh force smash, so getting that first stock very easily right there. Boss only at uh, 44%. Made a really good job right here. Now, like situations like this, because of rage, make uh comebacks kind of hard for uh, well, I guess I will say sleek media media who's going by Golden Joe right now. Just for the sole fact that like he didn't put enough damage on him to really make an impact when he comes back in. But all the rest of the damage he's putting on him right now is just going to make it uh, easier for Boss to close this game out. So, like, the power swing in this game is weird. All right, goes for that up, uh, up tilt right there, but that just gets shielded. Nice punish right there by Boss. Here we go. Oh, another shot right there. Not enough to finish yet. All right, there it is right there, that, that uh, using the double jump after the up B. Get that 
extra leverage and a little bit of uh, trickiness right there, but he ended up getting punished regardless. Oh no. Wait. Alright, managed to make it back right there. Boss gonna go ahead and probably finish the stock right there with the back throw. Easy stuff for Boss. Taking those two games quite handily. That first game was a little, a little close. A little close. But that second game, he definitely, definitely slapped him. Unfortunate right there. So it looks like up next we're going to have Squeak sitting down against Seagull. All right. Squeak and Seagull coming up next. So you probably see some Rob versus Sonic, which.